have had many patients asking me about the keto diet for weight loss. Today, I'll answer eight questions. What is the keto diet? Can you eat fruits on the keto diet? Isn't that used to treat seizures in children? Does it really help to lose weight? Why I don't recommend the keto diet for my patients with chronic pain? Is the keto diet safe? If I decide to do a keto diet, how long is it safe? And is it expensive to follow a keto diet? So let's talk about keto diet today. Before I continue, please remember that this video is not medical advice. This video is for educational purposes only. If you are thinking about doing a keto diet, please ask your doctor, your nutritionist, or your dietitian. In case of emergency, please go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. What is keto diet? The name keto comes from ketones or ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis is a state that will allow your body to survive if you are starving or in a period of famine. If you don't eat, then your body will start breaking down the fat storage to make fuel for your brain and other organs. Instead of making glucose, it will make ketones. Ketones can be used for energy in our body. The keto diet, the person has to stop eating carbohydrates or eat a very low amount of maximum 50 grams a day, which is equivalent to five large strawberries. When we ingest carbs, they are broken up by our liver into glucose, the main source of energy of our body. So here are some examples of carbohydrates or carbs. Rice, pasta, bread, fruits, milk, and vegetables like potatoes, carrots, beets, and corn. Fibers are a type of carbohydrates that our body cannot digest, so they stay in the guts and help to form bulky stools and therefore they help in the digestion and avoid constipation. So, when a person adheres to the keto diet, they must cut carbohydrates and ingest only fat and protein. Basically, 75% of all calories they eat must come from fat. In a regular diet, fat usually comprises 20 to 30% of all calories. Well, then the remaining calories come from proteins and just 5% come from carbohydrates, like the five strawberries a day. So what kind of fat is allowed in a keto diet? Meat, like red meat, steaks, ham, sausage, bacon, chicken, and turkey. Fatty fish, like salmon, trout, tuna, and mackerel. What about fruits? Only avocado. And low carbs vegetables, like cucumbers, lettuce, celery, white mushrooms, spinach, broccoli, and bell peppers. Also can eat eggs, butter and cream, cheese, nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds, and healthy oils like extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil. Can you eat fruit in the keto diet? Avocados are allowed but with moderation because they are mainly composed of fats. One avocado contains around 300 calories, 30 grams of fat, 4 grams of protein and 17 grams of carbohydrates and 14 grams of fibers. Other fruits are very limited in quantity. So here is one main problem with the keto diet. Limiting fruits may lead to serious vitamin deficiencies. And in many places around the world, fruits are widely available and inexpensive. Many people have fruit trees, which are their free supply of nutrients. Therefore, sticking to this diet will be impractical for a majority of people who live in rural and poor areas of the world. Is the keto diet used to treat seizures in children? Yes, actually, this is how the keto diet was discovered in the 1920s. At that time, there were no good medications to treat seizures, and there are many types of epilepsies that affect children. 
The keto diet helps to reduce the number of seizures in some specific types of epilepsy, but it's not the first choice to treat them. Nowadays, we have excellent and low-cost medications to treat seizures. There are many problems with the implementation of the keto diet, especially in children. First, they need a very strict nutritional supervision. These children may have serious consequences if they don't adhere to a proper keto diet, such as slow growth, high cholesterol in their blood, kidney stones, bone fractures. Well, they need to continue to take the anti-seizure medications even if they adhere to the diet. And if the child goes off the diet even for one meal, the diet may lose its effect. This diet may reduce socialization of these kids, especially we will not allow them to go at the school cafeteria, go to birthday parties, or even to have sleepover at the, their friends' homes because they will be limited in about what they can eat or not eat. Does the keto diet really help to lose weight? Yes. People will notice their weight dropping after a few weeks on the keto diet. The first few days on the diet is hard on their body. They will feel fatigued, dry mouth, thirsting. They will feel less hungry because food high in fat is very filling. The keto diet generally does not put a limit on how many calories the person can take per day. And this is one of the main differences between this and other diets. But it seems that most people will end up reducing the amount of calories they eat per day because they don't have that much appetite after eating a diet very rich in fats and proteins. For people with chronic pain who are overweight, losing weight is very important. The keto diet may be a quick fix, but it's a short-term solution. Using the keto diet to lose weight comes with a high price. And I'm not just talking about the grocery bills, I'm talking about the damage to their pain system, which brings me to the next question. So why people with chronic pain should not do the keto diet? Well, if you want to create an animal model of chronic pain, then you give the animal a high fat diet, and in a few weeks the animal has developed chronic pain, very similar to fibromyalgia, small fiber neuropathy, or diabetic neuropathy. Scientists know this for many years. That's how laboratory studies are done to study pain. A high-fat diet creates pain, and it makes existing pain worse. Take inflammatory arthritis as an example. We know that a diet rich in essential polysaturated fats, omega-6, aggravates inflammation. Essential omega-6 means this is an essential fat that we need to get from our diet. They are very important to our body, the, but the problem is that the Western world has too much omega-6 in our diet and almost no omega-3. I have another video that I talk about omega-6 and omega-3. But basically, if you want to have more inflammation in your body, just add lots of omega-6 to your diet. And where is omega-6 found? Well, one avocado has 13 times more omega-6 than omega-3. Another reason for people with chronic pain to stay away from the keto diet is that there is evidence that a high-fat diet prior to surgery leads to more pain after surgery and therefore a higher need for strong pain medications like opioids. Is the keto diet safe? I don't think it's safe for a prolonged period. And here are other reasons for not doing the keto diet, especially if you have chronic pain. A diet that eliminates grains, fruits, vegetables will reduce the amount of fiber, and fiber is very important for a healthy gut and bowel function. The keto diet is pro-inflammatory, and this is not a good choice for people with rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, and other inflammatory arthritis. It is best to adhere to an anti-inflammatory diet. I have another video about that. The keto diet may increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases and there is no research about the long-term consequences of this diet. The keto diet is difficult to sustain because it is a restrictive diet and may lead to weight gain when stopped. 
the keto diet may increase more social isolation as the person will avoid visiting, visiting friends, family, or going out on parties and restaurants. And the keto diet is not safe for people with pancreas, liver, thyroid, and gallbladder diseases. If I decide to do a keto diet, how long is it safe? Well, I would recommend not more than three to six months and with a nutritionist or dietitian supervision. Is it expensive to follow a keto diet? Yes, most people in the world would not be able to afford this diet. You tell them to eliminate rice, bread, pasta, vegetables and fruits. These are the staple food for 99% of the world population. It's just unrealistic. I think the problem of obesity is a very serious problem. We know people who are overweight have worse pain scores, but there are healthier ways to lose weight and they are more sustainable. Overeating is more of a psychological problem than a physical condition. Many people eat to deal with their anxiety, frustrations and reward themselves. So let me know your comments in the comments below. What is your opinion about the keto diet? Did you try it? Did it work for you? Share your experiences below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can be alerted when I post new videos on this channel. Watch my next video here. Goodbye.